Hello everyone, I'm Mirek Akochvil, I'm from the University of Luxembourg and I'm going to present a tiny bit of information about the post on interfacing the systems biology standards with the Julia ecosystem. Uh, this is my common work with many of my colleagues, especially with Paul Lang, who is here today with me. Hi, I'm Paul, I'm a PhD student at the University of Oxford and I'm working on developing cell cycle models. And during this work, I realized that the Julia programming language has some very nice packages for model simulation and model optimization. And I really wanted to use them for my research. But the problem was that like most systems biologists, I had specified my model in the SBML community standard, which um, is for model storage and model exchange, very similar to um, CellML, which has the same purpose, but is used by a slightly different community. And to get my model into Julia, I had to develop an importer. And while doing so, I realized that Mirek had a very similar idea and he wanted to develop SBML.jl. Mirek, do you want to explain what it does? Uh, yeah, SBML.jl that we have developed uh, within the Permat Koi project uh, to support several of our use cases, basically. Uh, wrapper around the lab sbml which is a library standard one for accessing the content on manipulating the sbml files uh, we have developed it because of constant based modeling that we are working on uh, for example for the cobrexa package which is here on the poster uh, but we have very quickly found that it uh, it has more use cases much more users that we originally realized uh, especially we got Paul with the ODE models and we got several other colleagues from Dieseldorf, for example, with uh, many more purposes for the package. So let's see how this all works together. And to this end, I start with the typical workflow for dy dynamical modeling. Say you have a dynamical model specified in an SBML file, you can use sbml.jl to import this into a Julia struct. And from there, you can use sbmltoolkits.jl to go into the SciML ecosystem. And if you want to combine data with the model, SciML allows you to import data and use um, different parameter optimization algorithms to fit the model to the data and create better predictions. If your dynamic model is not specified in SBML, but in CellML, you can use CellML toolkit, which essentially does the same thing as SBML toolkit does for SBML files, except it does that with CellML files. And finally, if you're not using dynamical modeling, but constraint-based modeling, you can use the Julia struct as output from SBML to um, go from SBML to Cobraxa and do constraint-based modeling, such as flux balance analysis. So let's see how it works if you actually want to try the packages. Uh, for the constraint-based modeling, uh, we have developed Cobrexa, so you can load Cobrexa on your favorite linear solver, such as Gurobi. And after that, you have uh, lots of functions available for actually loading the models from SBML, such as the one we show here, which is equally core, which is a tiny model for testing. And there are various interesting analyses of the constraint models, for example, the flux balance analysis here. Uh, which finds a steady state flux of the model, which kind of represents how the model would optimally work in the long term. In the example one here, uh, we are using a much bigger model of several equally uh, connected to one each other. And we are showing the result of a flux balance analysis, the steady flux as a coloring of the graph here. Great, so let's see how this works with dynamical models. The first thing you have to do is you need to use SPML toolkit and modeling toolkit. And then you can read an SPML model. Here it's the Bachmann 2011 model into MDL here. And once you have done this, you can convert this into any system you want. Could be a stochastic jump system. Here we convert it into an ODE system. And then we solve this ODE system using Z5. And you can see the solution on the left-hand side but instead of showing a boring time course, we decided to show this reaction network at nine different um, time points with the reactions in white and the metabolite concentrations in color. 
If you want to try the software, you can do that right now because the software is open source and available from GitHub. Uh, both packages are actually registered uh, in the official Julia repositories, so you can even install them in the Julia package manager. Uh, on the links here, you can see some documentation. Also, we will be happy if you report back any issues or findings that you find with the packages. We will be certainly happy for the discussion. And that is probably everything from us now. If you have any questions, ideas, notes, um, anything to discuss, we will be happy to see the discussion on the poster session. Uh, thanks for attention and see you next time.